Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be going through all of my 10-inch Funko Pops. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we have every 10-inch Funko Pop except for one. I haven't been able to get this one, um, and I thought that I would do this video so that way it kind of give me an incentive to buy the last 10-inch figure. I've bought every one that I've seen so far up to date. They're mostly exclusive to Target. Um, a couple of them aren't. You guys can probably see some of them here because I've got a big pile like to my left here of every 10-inch Funko Pop. We're going to be going through all of them. I'll slowly be just shifting through them. I want to put all of them on the table, but I, they're not going to fit. Um, I'm probably going to have to move some stuff over here so I can try and fit them down over here. Um, but yeah, guys, we've got, I believe, so we figured it out. There's, I figured it out. There's 18. I have 17 of them. Um, so I guess we'll just get into this and show you guys what we've got here. First up being the 10-inch Groot. Now this was the first 10-inch Funko Pop they came back with. Now if you guys are wondering, 10-inch um, Funko Pops are different than 9-inch ones. The, this one not, oh, it doesn't have a life-size sticker. That's what bothered me. I remember there was something about this one that bothered me. Um, so 9-inch figures are pops that Funko made a long time ago because they would make 3-inch three, um, three Funko Pops, 6-inch Funko Pops, and 9-inch Funko Pops. But they had to differentiate the size to be different from the original ones. So with the 9-inch ones, that's a different size than these ones here. Um, they used to make 9-inch figures. like It was like Batman, Buzz Lightyear, Maleficent, Mickey Mouse... Uh, I have the Buzz Lightyear one actually, but I don't. Uh, I don't consider that to be a nine inch or a ten inch one because that's a nine inch figure. Um, they're different scales in Funko's eyes, anyways, because these ones are a bit bigger. So this was the first one they they came back with the um, ten inch figures, and they came back with the big figures, and then the, so they made this one as the ten inch one. This was considered to be life size Groot because within Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, Groot was um, ten inches tall. So I thought that was pretty cool. You guys can see here on the back. Um, there it is there. It's practically just a giant pop like this is the same box that they used to that they come in um, Honestly guys if I hold it like at the right spot, it might just look like a normal size pop in a protector um, This is a PP Joe protector They started making 10 inch pop protectors for these guys and then as soon as they made these ones they made a different size box so Kind of weird. They came back with a different box. I think because it looked too similar like a small pop um, but let's get on to the next one here, guys. They're not in any order, but I'll, I'll try to keep it somewhat similar. I think next up was this one here, which is Porg from Star Wars. I don't think it's next, but I, it's just going to be random order here, guys. Um, so this next one here is Porg. Um, this is Porg from The Last Jedi. It looks great, in my opinion. I like this one a lot. Um, too bad you can't see it too well in the box. I normally have these out of the box, but I, took, I put them back in the box just to show you guys for the video. Because um, out of the box was kind of meh. And then on the back here, guys, we've got the Porg with all of the different versions on the side there. A lot of people didn't like this one because it would tip and tilt. Um, but mine seemed to stay up pretty well, just having it out of the box. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, here is the 10-inch Porg. Now, before I forget, guys, I have one that doesn't have a box because of how damaged the box came. So let me grab that one down for you guys. It's actually just right here. Um, this is one that I've had for a while... And it's been up on the top of the shelf up there just because there hasn't been um, any great spot for him. But it's Dobby. Um, I ordered this one from Target. The box just came in so damaged that I couldn't keep it. And I thought, I'm never going to sell it with the box. And it might sell better without the box. Not that I would sell it. But um, you know, guys, what I'm saying here is like, if you have a really damaged box, but you want to sell a figure, just throw out the box and call it loose. Because I feel like more people would buy it loose than they would um, with a really damaged box. I don't know, it just makes it look better in my opinion. But there's Dobby. I think it's a great one. I love the sock. I love how they blow them up so big too. You know what it was? I noticed that they didn't put it in any bubble wrap or anything when I put it in the box. And it was just kind of thrown around and the box looked like it had been squished, like they put something on top of it. Um, Target boxes have gotten thicker since then, which is nice because there's been so many 10 inch pops from Target and that's really the worst one I think it was. But other than that, it's been pretty good for shipping with Target. Um, but let's get on to the next one here, which we've got Scrooge McDuck. Um, this is one that I remember Lamar Wilson bought a long time ago, which is a very cool one. I remember he wanted this one um, from DuckTales. You guys can see here it's him jumping out of the money. This is the same pop that they did for New York Comic Con last year, or two years ago, 2017. So very cool figure, though. I think it looks great. I like how they still added that little tail in the back. Um, when he's jumping out. The only thing I wish was that they gave him clear glasses. On this one, they didn't, but on the original Disney one, they did. I don't know where he went. Ah, here he is right here. 
I'll show you what I mean, guys. On this little version of him, um, he's got like clear glasses. As you guys can see, he's got like clear ones, but these ones are just like a light blue. Um, which I'm okay with. It's just a big piece of clear plastic, and it's not that different. Um, it still looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think it's a great figure. And this is, again, exclusive to Target. I'll tell you when it's not exclusive to Target. So if I don't mention it, it's exclusive to Target. If, it, if I do mention it, it's somewhere else. Um, next up, let's do this one here. This is a brand new one that I just got in a little while ago. Um, this is 10-inch Bullseye, which is, of course, a Target exclusive. Um, this is a really cool one. They did this one for, um, what was it, St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Uh, Funko donated $50,000 to that, um, which I think is awesome um, that they did that. It's, it's just going to a really great cause. And I wanted to pick this one up for sure. I love my ad icons, and this thing just looks amazing, um, especially the big size. I have the smaller version of Bullseye, so I really needed to pick up this one to go with it. Um, and I think it looks like an amazing pop. It looks uh, like a real dog, almost. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next one here. Next up, we've got... Pika? 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 Chew! That was a really bad impression, so nobody clipped that, alright? Let's, uh, let's keep that one out of there. Um, but here we have 10-inch Pikachu. The only thing that was damaged with this, and it was my fault, um, was this up here. I had a pop that didn't stand too well. And I had fell or I tripped or something in here and the pop goes <laughs> and hits the top of the box up here and it made a really, not a severe ding, but it's like an actual indent. It's not just like a crease. I don't know. The box was mint and then I damaged it. Surprisingly, I'm usually pretty good with boxes, but um, yeah, that's the only thing. Then and then there's a little bit of crunch on the front, but I mean, guys, these boxes are so big that you're going to get damage on them, so it's all right. Plus, you got to love Pikachu. I usually take this one out of the box anyways. Um, I like the pops that they do in 10-inch form. I think they look pretty good, to be honest. Um, next up, we've got 10-inch Thanos. Here, Thanos. Um, this is a really cool one as well. This one actually fell, and its head broke off, but I fixed it. I used, what did I use? Gorilla Glue, and I sat it there for hours upside down, and I was just holding it with my feet and my hands, and I held it there for forever, and I had a bunch of Gorilla Glue. My grandpa had to bring over Gorilla Glue, because I didn't have any, um, but it was really good. It, it came out great, so here it is here, guys, in pretty good condition. Um, and it, the box is nice too, so it, it just looks great. Once you it, you don't even know that it was glued. Plus, I'm never gonna sell this one, so it's not like I have to worry about that or anything. Because for resale value, I guess it's like I fixed it up. It's like a refurbished Funko Pop, I guess you could say. Um, but it, it looks pretty good, so I'm not worried about it. Now, after that, we've got 10 inch Niffler. Now, if you guys notice something different about this one, he's got a giant Target sticker, and I think that looks great. Um, Niffler's cool. I convinced Noah that this one was a working clock, and he thought it was. I mean, it's such a big pop, and he's got the giant stopwatch, so I guess you could think it is. Like, it's about the size of a real watch. So, I don't know, I thought that was funny. He goes, uh, he told somebody that it was a real clock, and then somebody's like, no, it's not. He goes, well, Tristan told me it was, and then he was like, oh, I don't know. I thought it was funny. Um, but here it is here, guys. This is the 10-inch Niffler. Um, this one's cool because it's about the size of a Niffler from Fantastic Beasts, or, uh, yeah, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, so... Pretty cool one. I like this one a lot. Also, guys, if you have any 10-inch figures while I'm grabbing the next one here, let me know which ones you've got. Put it in the comment section below. Because I kind of want to know which ones you guys have compared to what I've got. Because I know they're making another one coming out, which is Toothless. And then I'm missing Dino Ultra Zord. Those are the two that I'm missing. Um, Toothless isn't out yet, so you can't you can't get me for that one. But Dino Ultra Zord is the one that I'm missing. Here's another cool one. This is in a larger box than the other ones. And this is Green Goblin from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This was one you could only order online. Some stores are getting them in, but it was a mostly an online order. Um, and I was scared this thing was going to come in damage because I knew the box was even bigger than normal. Um, but it came in great. I know I'm talking about damage a lot because these boxes are so big that they're going to take a beating. And I don't really mind. They're not even that expensive. They're like 30 bucks um, for each of these. And they're like five times the size of normal pops. Um, so I think they look pretty good. There's the back guys with all the other pops on it. Um, they've got some pretty cool ones on here. Miles Morales came out a couple times. There was two versions of that. Spider-Man Noir, Prowler, Green Goblin, Spider-Gwen, Peter Parker. And then there was also like uh, Spider-Ham. And then there was the Spider-Man Noir, but he was wearing a hat. Um, so that one was also pretty cool. Oh no, without a hat was the Walgreens exclusive, right. Um, but again, Green Goblin's probably my favorite. I never picked up the little one because I wanted to get the big version, so I'm glad I waited. Uh, let's get into this next one here, which I did a photo, which was uh, the little version of this one, then the big version, and it said, don't you ever talk to me or my son ever again. Um, this was the only one they had in the store when I went. 
um, so I had to pick it up. But if you guys can see on the front here, I don't know if it's even that bad. It's like a bit of a scrape or something. I don't know, but I love this figure. I had to take this one out of its box. This one was been has been out of its box for a while. Um, but I might start putting them in their box now because I had all the boxes stacked up on the side over there and then I also had them out of the box. So it was taking up a lot more room than it had to, um, but you can still see them over there. They're still displayed, they're just in its box on the far side over there. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to have to do from now on. But this one is one of my favorite 10 inch figures. I'll do my top three at the end of this as well guys if I remember. Um, but yeah, the 10 inch T-Rex has to be one of my favorites. Um, another one of my favorites, which is one for the Mickey's 90th anniversary, this actually came in a 10 inch pop stack, which I've got around here somewhere, um, but this is the blue and green Mickey. Um, this was one to go with the Mickey, the true original pop-up shop in New York City. Um, again, very cool figure, some great stuff going on with this one. I have both versions of the Mickey, and if you want the Mickey with his hand to the side, you can only get that one in the 10 inch version. So I think that's pretty cool. Also guys, on the back there, you can see the three different pops out of this set. Uh, Plain Crazy Mickey, Band Concert Mickey, and then Holiday Mickey. So I have all three of those. I'm getting close to getting all of the Mickey's 90th anniversary pops. Speaking of Mickey's 90th anniversary pops, let's pull out this one here. Boom! The black and white Mickey. Again, guys, this is one of those ones from that set. And this actually has the old pops on it from the first wave. Not the old ones, but the first wave of pops. Um, and these are the other ones now that I'm going for. Um, I need... Which ones do I need? I'd have to look at them. I need Firefighter Mickey and Conductor Mickey, and that's it. I have Steamboat Willie, Brave Little Taylor, and Apprentice. So we are getting close now, guys. We are home stretch for finishing off this set. I probably should have done a video about them when they first came out, but I never did. Um, but that's fine. It's all right. Now this one here, guys, this one came in from a fan, Ivan, um, Cloud Kicker. If you are watching, thank you so much for this. He found this one on sale. Um, and I, if you guys don't know why it was on sale, um, I think it's a great reason to pick it up. I still haven't done a window swap on this. I want to do one. Maybe if I can find like a really cheap 10 inch one, um, I'll do a window swap on it, or if I can find another one of this one, maybe I'll do that. But if you guys can see, this is why it was on sale. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I think it's a great reason to pick it up. You can just quickly swap it out. Um, the window is completely cracked, but hey, that's fine because this pop is in great condition. The pop looks good, um, and I think that's the best reason to pick this up. Like, you don't need the box to look great. Um, but because I will be displaying this one in the box, I might try and find another one of these to do a window swap with. Which you guys didn't know, if you guys don't know, maybe I can do a video on that, how to window swap a pop. I know a couple people have done that before. Box Attack did one recently, um, so maybe I won't do that. But um, if you guys want to see one, maybe I could show you guys how to do it. It would kind of be the same way that he does it, because that's how I do it. Um, but if you guys want to see, maybe if I have a different way of doing it slightly, you guys can watch mine if you guys want to see one. Um, but anyways, guys, let's go on to the last pop here that we have, which is this one. It is this here. It is the 10 inch Demogorgon. Um, now this is probably my most recent besides Bullseye. Um, I just got this one a little while ago. And I think this is my most recent besides Bullseye. Yeah, maybe Mickey. No, maybe Mickey was before this one. Uh, or after this one. But still, very cool figure. I don't think I've ever taken this one out of its box, just because it kind of scares me. You know what, guys? Since I've never taken it out of its box, let's take it out right now. Um, yeah, it's got a small base on it. This is the one that I thought was kind of weird. I never took this one out because it was just like, I don't know where I'm ever going to put this if it's out of its box, so I just kept it in. Um, but I found the best box they had at Target for this one. They had about 10 of them when I went, which was nice, and then I got to pick out my favorite one out of all of them. But yeah, guys, there's the base on this. It's just a weird little black circle, but I get it. They got to keep them standing somehow, but this one is so detailed. It kind of scares me a bit. It's just the way the, the mouth opens almost like a flower there. Yee, that's a crazy little that's a crazy looking pop right there but there it is right there guys awesome figure um but that is all of them that i own i'm missing two because there's toothless and then there's um well dino ultra sword dino ultra sword is out toothless isn't i guess with toothless there's 19 of them and they're making more of course they're always going to be making more of these um i think there's a 10 inch stay Puft marshmallow man coming for the 35th anniversary of um, Ghostbusters. I remember when Funko was making 30th anniversary stuff. That's weird. Five years ago, they made those. Now they're making 35th. Wow. I know it's like, well, you know, five years later, but still, Funko's been doing the Ghostbusters stuff for five years now. Um, and I think that's crazy, because they did them for their 30th anniversary the first time. 
and now they're doing them for their 35th. Um, they always seem to find anniversaries to do it with, which I think is great. That way you can get a bunch of the old figures kind of like in a new version of them or whatever, um, which I think is awesome. So I'm glad that I will for sure be picking up the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Um, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops Popsters. Thanks for watching. I didn't do my top three. Uh, uh, number one, Pikachu. Number two, Blue and Green Mickey. And number three, Groot. Bye, guys.